Peace, beautiful beings. Welcome back to another video. So Matt and I went to Disney World a few days ago, March 4th through the 7th. We went for many different reasons. One was to visit my best friend, Jennifer. I grew up with Jennifer and she's just so wonderful. She's a sister to me and she lives over there in Orlando and performs in Disney World. And another reason was to see my cousin who also lives there and who also performs in Disney World in a Magic Kingdom parade. It was so fun to see her. And another reason was just to have a last hurrah vacation before the baby comes. I know a lot of you are gonna be like, haven't you been doing a lot of vacations? Yes, I have. <laughs> First we went to Hawaii in December, and then I went to Dominican Republic in February, and March is Disney World, and I am done. Matt jokes around and says that I am officially on pregnancy quarantine, because I'm 30 weeks. Disney World was really a lot on my body, and I can tell that the baby is slowly but surely getting ready to come out and I shouldn't be walking miles and miles and miles and miles in a day. <laughs> so I'm here and I'm resting, but I did wanna show you all some footage of the Disney World trip because it was super fun and we filmed a lot. Before I continue, today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community that offers membership with meaning. Skillshare offers classes that are designed for real life, so you can learn and grow with classes that are short enough to fit into your busy routine. I've taken classes through Skillshare for the past several months now, and most of them have been with film and photography. Photography to help me learn my camera better and to take better photos for my Instagram, and videography to help advance this channel. Now I'm taking a course on Skillshare called YouTube Success. Build an authentic channel that's worth the follow, and it's taught by a wonderful woman. Her name is Sorella Moore. I've been following her for a while now. I love her YouTube channel. She's a YouTuber, a videographer, and a photographer, but also just an all-around inspiring woman. And I've learned a lot from watching her channel, so when she came out with this Skillshare course, I was like, yes, because it's a behind the scenes of how she has created such a huge channel in such a short amount of time that is so authentic and like she says, easy to click follow. The second I saw her channel, I was like, yes, I need to see more of this woman. And I would like more people to feel that when they visit Earth Mama Medicine. So her course is wonderful for people that are just starting out with YouTube, uh, just starting out with social media in general and wanna learn how to build an audience authentically and to not just be like a one hit wonder where you go viral and then you disappear off the face of the earth, you know, so that you can build a long, a long lasting career. So there are courses like hers and courses on so so many different topics, photography, videography, social media. I mean, what, I can't even think of them all off the top of my head. There's a course for almost anything out there. Skillshare is a wonderful tool to have in your back pocket. And it's incredibly affordable, especially when comparing to these pricey in-person classes and workshops. So I say all of that to say that Skillshare is giving Earth Mama Medicine followers a free two month premium membership to help you explore your creativity. So click that link below in the description box and it'll take you straight over there. And after your two free months, you're really looking at like $10 a month. So it's not painful, it's 100% worth it. And I hope you like it, let me know how you do. So Disney World, it was amazing. <sighs> Disney really never fails to make you feel like a big old kid and that's really what you have to do when you go there. You can't go there with your adult ego. You have to go there and really get ready to just soak in the fun of it all like you are a child again because I mean that's what it is it's a magical it's a magical magical place so we started off going to Epcot which is the place where there is a they call it the world showcase so you've got like this you've got other rides like futuristic rides and Disney Pixar attractions and we went during the flower and garden festival so we did get to see a lot of beautiful flowers and flower arrangements and gardens and butterflies and things that are not usually there. And you know, that's right up my alley. So I'm happy that we visited during the Flower and Garden Festival. But aside from that, Epcot does have the World Showcase, which is like the main attraction. It's got numerous countries that you visit. I mean, these huge, huge, monuments of these different countries. So we went around and we visited places like Mexico and it's got this 
big big like aztec looking mexican pyramid and you go inside and you can buy things from mexican artists and artisans and have real authentic margaritas and mexican foods like tacos and all these different types of cuisine and inside of the pyramid was all themed into like coco which was such a beautiful disney pixar movie if you haven't seen it i recommend it coco really inspired matt and i to create an altar at home for our ancestors because the movie is amazing just wonderful so and yeah so i'll just let you i'll let you watch some of that epcot footage it was really really awesome So that was it, we did Epcot in one day, which was a lot on my body. I actually ended up losing my wallet towards the end of the day. <laughs> and I think it was karma because right like 10 minutes before I lost my wallet, we were in Morocco, one of the countries, and I watched a man not paying attention and completely ran smack dab into a cement wall. And something about like falling and people hurting themselves, I just, there's a giggle bug inside of me <laughs> and he was okay but i could not control myself laughing like probably because i wasn't supposed to be laughing so i'm like trying to hide it and like tears are streaming down my face <laughs> i'm terrible i know and 10 minutes after that i lose my wallet so yeah the creator was like keep laughing at people <laughs> So that happened. Luckily, we found my wallet in Canada. We went to the Canada area, which is the last place I remember going. And in Canada, they have these huge totem poles and a lot of Native American art around, which 
I love because when you visit America, even in real life or in Epcot, there's nothing mentioning Native Americans and the indigenous people of this land. And so how amazing was it to see that in Canada? And when we went into Canada, I was like, look at all of this. Like this shows right here that Canada has way more respect for the indigenous people than America did because all these totem poles and everything are here. And I just recognized the ancestors. So when I left my wallet there, and came back and someone had turned it in to the little desk in the gift shop, I was like, see, the ancestors, I knew the ancestors were gonna be there for me <laughs> because they are here and they are present. So thank you, thank you ancestors. I was very grateful to not have to try to figure out how to get on a plane without my ID and everything that I needed in my wallet on the first day. Ugh. Hashtag pregnancy brain. So yeah, we went home. We stayed with my friend Jennifer in her apartment. It was a lot on my body. We Jennifer looked on her phone and realized that we had walked over 16,000 steps that day. Oh my God, my feet were killing me, my back were killing me. I wish I had brought my belly band. I don't know why I didn't bring my belly band to like help give me some lower back and belly support, but I thought I could tough it out, but that was a lot of, of movement and walking and yeah. So the second day we got up and we went to Magic Kingdom, which is the place, when you think of Disney World, you think of Magic Kingdom because that is where Cinderella's castle is and that is what you see every time a Walt Disney movie comes on it's the castle and Tinkerbell and the magic and oh my god seeing it in person again I haven't been there since I was probably I don't even remember how old I was but it was nice to see it as an adult Matt hadn't been at Disney World since he was five years old so it was nice for him to make a new memory there as well especially without babies yet because so many people are there with their kids and with babies and it looks so stressful fun but just a lot more to think about so it's nice to just go as adults and do what we want <laughs> so uh yeah we went to magic kingdom and saw my cousin bianca perform shout out to you bianca you're amazing you were amazing in the parade this part was just made for you and yeah i'll let you see how magic kingdom went <laughs> Kingdom in the 
early afternoon to go to Animal Kingdom. We took the bus over to Animal Kingdom because we did want to enjoy it some more and then go back to Magic Kingdom for the fireworks at the end. A lot of the parks have fireworks, but Magic Kingdoms are like the fireworks to see, you know, where the castle's all lit up and everything. So we went to Animal Kingdom and got to do the safari that we waited a really long time in line to see, but it was worth it. We also saw Finding Nemo the musical, which Jennifer's friend Joshua was in. Shout out to you, Joshua, if you're watching. You were amazing as Crush. And Finding Nemo was such a joy to see the puppetry. I mean, they really did a great job at emulating the movie. It felt like I was watching the movie again. It was the puppetry and the, the singing and everything was gorgeous to look at. And I was really happy. And afterwards we got VIP treatment and got to go back and meet the cast and take a picture. And that was really nice. Yeah, Animal Kingdom was awesome. I'll let you see that footage. Kingdom we were feeling pretty spent but we had to go 
and at least see the fireworks at Cinderella's castle. They were absolutely gorgeous. I almost got emotional watching them. Oh, I mean, they must spend, I think Jennifer told me how much they spend every day. Was it $90,000 a day on the fireworks? I can't even remember, but it was some crazy number. Of course it doesn't hurt them because Disney makes like a billion trillion dollars a day. But I mean, wow, an impressive firework and projection show that um, I'm really happy we got to see. <laughs> It was a really enjoyable trip and we are just so happy that we got to go with our kids. <laughs> Maybe we'll go again in the next several years. I don't want to bring the baby there when they're little. I saw a lot of people there with little babies and maybe they were just going because they wanted to enjoy it and they didn't want to bring leave the baby at home which is understandable but I think if you want to bring your child so that they can enjoy it, it would be more beneficial to wait until they're like three years old, four or five, where they know what's going on, they know the characters, and they're getting excited for the experience. Because traveling with children is already, you know, adding a whole another level of stuff <laughs> to the trip. And not to, not to leave it on a negative note, but I will say that going as an adult made me realize just how capitalistic Disney World really is. I mean, and really any big amusement type of attraction like a SeaWorld or Universal Studios or Great Adventure, any of those type of, you know, big, big places, your people are paying hundreds of dollars to get in and then you're paying so much money for food, so much for anything extra, like a stuffed animal of Simba that would cost $2 in the dollar store here costs like $40 at Disney World and the food prices are out of this world for really ordinary foods. Even me getting a small drink was $6. A small drink, $6, like $4 for a bottle of water. I mean, just unheard of and it just it makes me feel sad of course if if you want to save up money and go to disney world and have the full experience yes but i'm just like wow this is a multi-billion dollar company you can afford to lower your prices or at least have an expensive entry and then have like normal prices when you go in you know and then even when you are in the parks a lot of it is buying things you know there are tons of rides and you see characters and you see little performances and you see the big you know monuments and things to look at but a lot of it is gift shops i mean gift shops everywhere every single ride is gift shops gift shops buying stuff buying stuff buying stuff and i saw so many kids having tantrums because they couldn't have things i even walked past a mother and her child and she was saying we're not buying anything today and you listen to what, what i said we bought you things yesterday you're not getting anything today <laughs> 
and it made me laugh but also feel sad because it's just you know i just can't imagine what that's like if you are wanting to have a fun experience for your family but you're you know you don't have as much money and it's it's really it's really there for people that saved like a couple thousand dollars if you want to really go all out <laughs> and y'all know how we are we i would much rather spend thousands of dollars to go to jamaica and like do it up on the beach or you know go to another country and travel and get the culture in that way but i say all that to say it was an amazing trip i don't want to I don't want to put a, a damper on it, but I do like to keep it real with y'all because that's just how we are here over at Earth Mama Medicine. Comment below what you think about that. You know, if you've been to Disney World, how did you feel about how like capitalistic it felt? You know, like paying extra to skip in the line and you know, just yeah, let me know how you feel. Am I being too much? I don't know. <laughs> but shout out to you, Jennifer, for arranging a amazing trip for us y'all know we had the vip treatment because my friend works there and i just couldn't have thought of it going any better of a way than the way that it did and i look forward to visiting again when jennifer is performing because she performs there at the voices of liberty which is amazing and if you go to epcot and you visit the country america go watch jennifer perform in the voices of liberty it is prime vocal entertainment let me tell you and another little extra plug if you want some cookies my friend jennifer is a baker and her cookies are amazing and you can get them i'll link her stuff below they're so cute do that okay <laughs> all right everybody thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you below in the comments peace